Hello again, friends. In my last video, we explored what tokenization is and why it matters from stable coins to real estate and beyond. Today, I want to go a little deeper. Let's break down how tokenization works under the hood, the technical architectures, the workflow for issuing and maintaining tokenized assets, and the infrastructure that makes it all possible. If you're in banking or capital markets, this video is for you. This is the layer that turns tokenization from the buzzwords we all hear into a working system. Let's start with the architecture models for tokenized assets. There are three main approaches. First, on-chain native models, where all legal and transactional data lives directly on the blockchain. The smart contract itself encodes who owns what and under what rules. Second, off-chain certificate models, where the token is essentially a digital receipt pointing to a traditional legal registry or custodian. The actual legal title remains in that off-chain system. And third, hybrid models, which combine the two, keeping sensitive legal data off-chain for privacy, but using the blockchain for ownership transfers, settlement, and programmability. Think of it like this. Native models are a self-contained ecosystem. Off-chain models are like a claim check. And hybrid models give you the best of both worlds. Now, let's look at the life cycle of a tokenized asset. The full workflow from onboarding to redemption. Step one is asset onboarding. The asset is verified. Legal documentation is tied to it and metadata is created for the token. Step two is token issuance. A smart contract is deployed, usually with standards like ERC-20 for fungible assets, ERC-721 or 1155 for non-fungibles. Step three is maintenance and monitoring. Oracles provide live data, reserves, prices, credit events, or interest rates to keep the token accurate. Step four is transfers and settlement. Tokens are exchanged, often in delivery versus payment mode, where stable coins or CBDCs settle the cash leg instantly. And step five is redemption and burn. Tokens can be returned to the issuer in exchange for the underlying asset and then burned to remove them from circulation. At each stage, smart contracts automate the logic, whether it's compliance checks, coupon payments, or reporting. Here's where things get critical. A token is only as good as its connection to reality. If collateral disappears or pricing data is wrong, the system breaks. That's why tokenization depends on oracles, the infrastructure that connects blockchains to the outside world. Chainlink provides the trust layer here with four key services. Price feeds, they deliver secure, tamper-resistant valuation data. Proof of reserve, which verifies that off-chain collateral really exists and is solvent. CCIP, the cross-chain interoperability protocol, enables tokenized assets and data to move securely across different blockchains and even into traditional existing networks. And finally, functions. Smart contracts call external APIs directly. That means you can plug into banking systems, payment rails, KYC providers, custody solutions, or even IoT devices for commodities. Put simply, oracles ensure that a token isn't just a number on a blockchain. It's a reliable reflection of its real-world asset. Let's walk through an example. Let's say a bank issues a tokenized bond. Investors purchase tokens using stablecoins. The smart contract handles coupon payments automatically. Chainlink price feeds provide interest rate data, 
while proof of reserve confirms any collateral. Settlement happens instantly. Delivery of tokens against stablecoins happen in seconds. No waiting for T plus two. Compare this to today's workflow. We have custodians, clearing houses, reconciliation across ledgers. All of this often involves days of processing. Tokenization collapses that into a single programmable transaction. Of course, speed is nothing without trust. That's why tokenization also focuses on security and compliance. Key management is critical. Deciding between custodial wallets, non-custodial wallets, or institutional key management solutions. Access controls can be applied through whitelists and on-chain KYC and AML with Chainlink's Automated Compliance Engine, or ACE. This ensures only verified investors participate. The important point is that tokenization doesn't bypass regulation. It makes compliance programmable, enforced directly by smart contracts and verified by oracles. Tokenization is already moving from pilot projects into production. Private credit, treasuries, repo markets, and commodities are being tokenized Today, the infrastructure is maturing. Secure oracles, cross-chain standards, and regulatory clarity are all coming together. For developers, banks, and market participants, understanding these technical rails today positions you to build the next generation of capital markets. And Chainlink is providing the essential services. Price feeds, proof of reserve, CCIP, ACE, and functions. It makes it all possible. Because the future of capital markets isn't waiting for T plus two. It's already settling at internet speeds. For a deeper dive into tokenization implementation, be sure to visit our developer portal at dev.chain.link. Thank you.